Lord. He's their king. He's their shepherd. And we're all direct to him. So I, well, I believe John the Baptist, Jesus called the greatest man ever born of woman. The last of an order because he changed the order. And his whole job was to prepare the way for the king. Prepare the way for the Lord and then to decrease when he increased. Get out of the way of the people as they grow up into the Lord. If we are successful in doing what we're called to do as his servants, as his ministries, people will need us less and less because they're more and more connected to him. You cannot be, you've got to have the heart of that sure my name. Lord, I don't want to be veiled in the flocks of your companions. I know they're your people, they're your companions. They're great teachers. They're great in leading the people and all. They're great as under shepherds. But so many of them are only building their own institution. I'll just warn you about one other thing. I've seen one of the most terrible traps that took down, I think, some of the greatest men of God of our time, took them down, was this determination to have a legacy. That is so self-centered, and it's a trap set for you at the end of your life. Listen, we want the, our legacy to be people came to know him better. They lifted him up. They, he became greater in their eyes. We want that to be our legacy, not the attention that we get or the fame that we get on earth. Listen, that is so cheap and so shallow, it's not going to last anyway. The whole history of earth, as men have written it, is so wrong. It's not going to last. We're going to have a chance to study it. To see how bad everybody interpreted what really happened on the earth. But God has an absolutely accurate history of everything you did, everything you said, and everybody else on the earth. Totally accurate. They're called the books of life. That's why he said, don't rejoice that the demons are subject to you and all this stuff happened when he said about to, about to rejoice that your names are written in the books of life. You're making God's history books. I tell you, that should be the only history we care about maybe. I'm just saying, it's a big trap. A big trap. So, Bride, and those who invited to the wedding. I think you want to be a part of the bride. Yeah. I think, you know, what do we have better to do? What do we have better to do? And I hope you've gotten something of what I've kind of feebly shared with you this morning about. We've got to walk in His full salvation for His sake. He paid the price for that. What does it look like? We cannot continue to tolerate cancer. Amen. We cannot continue to tolerate all these things that are afflicted us. We've got to take every one of them as a challenge. And when we don't get healed, when people we pray for don't get healed, don't lie about it. And it would start with some humility. God gives us grace to the humble saying, you know, I'm just not there yet. We're seeing a few healed here and there. We've got to go for more. Let's start being humble and being true about where we are and what's happened. But we've got to go for the full thing. For his sake, somebody's going to walk in it. I think it's going to be a great company that cannot even be counted. What does it really look like to be washed in the blood? Now, I'm going to turn this over to Zorro. Where is Zorro? How many of you guys remember Zorro? 